Hey everyone, welcome back to this series called Finance Current Affairs. In this very series, we pick up some important financial topics and we try and discuss them with the help of different questions. So before I start with the first question, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified about all our upcoming videos which can be really very helpful for you all. And if you want the free PDF of this very session, then please join our Telegram group. Link is in the description below. We provide all the free PDFs on this very group only. Now let's move on to the first question. That says, which of the following is not a modus operandi being used by fraudsters during digital banking? So we all know that the pace of digital banking has increased a lot. There are a lot many more people who are into digital banking these days. Rather than using more cash or rather than going to a bank to withdraw the money, to transfer the money, we are now preferring more of the digital platforms available. We are now preferring more of the digital payments. And this digital banking has also given a rise to various new modus operandi used by the fraudsters. Just as we use digital banking, we use other kind of ways. Same way, cyber attacks, different kind of customer ki information ka misuse, different frauds. These are also increasing. So recently, RBI has notified that there are various methodologies which are used by these fraudsters to defraud the customers. Customers. का पैसे उनके अकाउंट से विड्रॉ कर लेते हैं अलग अलग टेक्निक्स का यूज करके उनको डिफ्रॉड करते हैं सो व्हाट टाइप्स ऑफ टेक्निक्स आर बीइंग यूज बाय द फ्रॉडस्टर्स आरबी हैज नोटिफाइड दैट एंड इट हैज आल्सो कम अप विद सर्टेन सेफ डिजिटल बैंकिंग प्रैक्टिसेस व्हिच वी मस्ट अडियर टू एज अ बैंक कस्टमर सो आरबीआई ने एक नोटिफिकेशन में एक बेसिकली प्रेस रिलीज निकाला है जहां उन्होंने स्पेसिफिकली मेंशन किया है कि आपको क्या-क्या सेफ्टी मेजर्स लेने हैं जब आप डिजिटल बैंकिंग करते हो एंड व्हाट ऑल टेक्निक्स आर बीइंग यूज्ड बाय द फ्रॉडस्टर्स टू डीफ्रॉड यू ओके सो लेट्स डिस्कस दैट इन डिटेल फर्स्ट देन वील कवर द क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड एज वेल सो टॉकिंग फर्स्ट अबाउट दीस fraud practices being carried out but before that why rbi has notified these safe digital banking practice because as i have mentioned that more digital banking more are the rising cases of the cyber frauds as well so in order to prevent any kind of financial loss to the customers this step has been taken by rbi where it is cautioning the people it is uh, asking them to basically take care of all the practices being carried out and exercise proper um, and basically follow all precautionary measures to prevent these kinds of financial losses okay so let's discuss some of the techniques being used by the fraudsters to defraud the customers sabse pehle aata hai wishing at times we might we receive the call from someone uh, pretending to be a call from the banks and which are where, where they ask the basic details of the customers in pretext of say updating your kyc or in pretext of unblocking your blocked account or some amount has been deducted from your account they basically tell you that this has this mistake has happened so we want to bring back the money to your account so please adhere to all these steps aise fraudulent phone calls aate hain ki hum bank se call kar rahe hain actually wo bank se call nahi hote hain that is wishing which is one of the techniques used by the fraudsters second is phishing wishing ke case mein kya hua tha aapko phone calls aate hain wrong ki aap taki aapki confidential details wo fetch kar sake okay in wishing through phone calls they were fetching your confidential details whereas in phishing they send you spoofed mails they send you wrong smss and by clicking on the links which they provide you actually end up providing your confidential information to them okay so unke paas aise links hote hain on mails mein on smss mein agar aap unko further revert karte ho to aapki details unke sath share ho jati hai that is phishing which is done through spoofed mails or the smss third technique is that they try to get the remote access 
okay what they do at times some links are provided you download their applications or some of the other app you download and through that they are actually able to access all your data sitting in another location as well so aap wo app download kar lete ho jisse ki unhe aapka sara data ka access mil jata hai aapke device ka access mil jata hai through which they start conducting all these transactions they start with doing the money from your account and all such things happen all right then is they also misuse the collect request feature of upi they send you some a uh, fake request that if you will enter your upi pin then only you will receive this money okay and actually when you enter the money gets withdrawn from your account and gets transferred elsewhere so ye ek aur technique hai jo wo upi related wo use kar rahe hain and then many times if rather than searching for an official website you start searching for the bank phone numbers to the search engine then there are fake numbers available on various web pages okay so aapko un fake numbers pe rely nahi karna hai if you try to provide the details in order to update your kyc or do some other transaction where you are sharing your data to these fake numbers or fake websites then you actually end up having a financial loss okay so ye kuch techniques hai jo wo use karte hain galat phone calls karke aapka data fetch karna mails ke through sms ke through aapka koi app download karwa denge aapse jisse unke paas sara detail chala jayega aapse upi pin ka access le lete hain fake numbers ke through they try to access your data so this is all what the fraudsters are doing Now coming back to our question, which talked about this only कि इनमें से कौन सा एक प्रोसीजर नहीं है जो फ्रॉस्टर्स यूज करते हैं सो विशिंग फिशिंग नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस सो यू आर अवेयर दैट दीज आर दी टेक्निक्स विच दे यूज देन दे ऑल्सो गेट द रिमोट एक्सेस ऑफ योर डेटा बाय मेकिंग यू डाउनलोड एन एप्लीकेशन सो दिस इज ऑल्सो अ प्रोडन एंड टेक्निक दे यूज next is securing card by setting daily transaction limit this is basically a safe banking practice which you can follow aap apne cards pe limit laga sakte ho taki aapka jo loss hoga bhi wo ek limited amount ho if there is a limit that more than 20000 more than 50000 cannot be withdrawn from your card and if you say lose your card or somehow your details get shared elsewhere so there will be a limit on the amount of loss that can actually happen so if you secure your card the वैल्यू ऑफ लॉस विच यू कुड हैव हैड एक्चुअली गेट्स लिमिटेड सो ये एक सेफ बैंकिंग प्रैक्टिस है ये एक प्रॉडलेंट मेजर नहीं है जो फ्रॉस्टर्स यूज कर रहे हैं सो दिस इज नॉट इज नॉट अ मॉडर्स ऑपरेटिंग यूज बाई फ्रॉस्टर्स दस आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू द सेफ डिजिटल बैंकिंग प्रैक्टिस नाउ आर बी आई ने कौन सी प्रैक्टिस मैंशन की है जो हमें फॉलो करनी चाहिए दीज आर द वेरी बेसिक प्रैक्टिस विच वी All are aware of, but still at times we don't pay attention to them. हमें ये सब पता है हमें अपनी basic bank details नहीं share करनी OTP नहीं share करना PIN नहीं share करना Then also at times we uh, get defrauded by all these fraudsters. Okay, so RBI has tried to caution us. So it has again notified some practices which we should always keep in mind and adhere as well. So these practices include first. never share your account details your login id your password your pin your upi pin aapko koi otp aata hai aapki atm card details hai debit card details hai ye sab cheeze aapko nahi share karni hai even you should not share them with the bank officials okay you should set a strong password a unique password not share it with anyone this is most important thing aapko in fact bank officials ke sath bhi ye cheeze share nahi karni hai okay this is what rbi has told you second is that at times you get the phone calls you get the emails which tell that your account will be blocked your kyc is not updated please click on the link and do the necessary things or please give a call at this number fetch the details and then move ahead through the process so you should not respond to these offers in fact you should you should report to the bank branch if something like that happens aapko kai jagah se mails aa sakte hain kai jagah se calls aa sakte hain kyc update karne ke liye so aapko inko respond nahi karna hai these are the fraudulent 
practices being followed these days moreover if you want to get any banking service you have to visit the official website only okay jo bhi bank hai jo bhi nbfc hai ya jo bhi wallet provider hai unki official website ke through hi aap sab karo and if you want to fetch the contact details also go through the official websites only okay aise kahi se bhi call aaye email aaye usko respond nahi karna hai all right then moving ahead You should not download any unknown app on your device. आपको किसी ऐप के बारे में नहीं पता है उसको आपको अपने फोन में डाउनलोड नहीं करना ओके हु सो एवर माइट से दैट प्लीज डाउनलोड दिस ऐप दे कैन एक्चुअली फैच योर कॉन्फिडेंशियल डेटा सीक्रेटली दे कैन टेक कंट्रोल ओवर योर डिवाइस तो ऐसे कोई भी ऐप आपको डाउनलोड नहीं करना है देन ट्रांजेक्शन इन्वॉल्विंग रिसीट of money do not require scanning the barcodes qr codes entering mpin so if someone asks you to do so you should be cautioned about the same okay you should you should exercise due caution while doing so aapko koi kehta hai ki ye bar aapko payment tabhi receive hogi jab aap ye qr code scan karoge ye barcode scan karoge apna mpin number enter karoge so paisa receive karne ke liye ye sab karne ki zarurat mostly nahi padti hai so you should exercise due caution if someone asks you to do all these things moving ahead now always access the official website okay aapko dekhna hoga ki ye official website hai ki nahi proper http as you have to see that the website is starting with this there is no spelling error at times fake websites are also created where there is something or the other changed and they you actually they actually seem to be like official website but they are actually not kahin na kahin spelling error hoga ya koi प्रॉब्लम uh, हो सकती है उनके यूआरएल में डोमेन नेम में सो प्लीज पे अटेंशन वाइल एक्सेसिंग एनी वेबसाइट ओके डोंट रिलाई ऑन दी सर्च इंजन फॉर दी कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर्स ऑफ दी बैंक यू शुड ऑलवेज रिलाई ऑन दी ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट ओनली ऑलवेज इफ यू आर सीइंग एनी काइंड ऑफ वेबसाइट व्हिच इज फेक दैट हैज बीन क्रिएटेड प्लीज रिपोर्ट अबाउट द सेम टू दी पुलिस टू दी साइबर क्राइम ब्रांच इमीडिएटली सो दैट even not only you but others should also not suffer if you have paid attention to this that some kind of fake website has been created immediately report about the same iske baad aata hai hamara otp fraud if you at times uh, you might have received otp that this is the otp for this much payment being deducted for this very thing aapne kuch bhi process process nahi kiya suppose aap online purchases karte ho आपको आया मैसेज आया कि ये ओ है आपके इस चीज को परचेज करने का दिस इज दी अमाउंट एंड यू हैव इनफैक्ट नॉट एंटर्ड इनटू टू दैट ट्रांजेक्शन एट ऑल इनफैक्ट दिस हैज हैपन विद मी एज वे ओ आई जा रहा था कि आपके हमारे अकाउंट मतलब आपके अकाउंट से ये पैसे डिडक्ट होंगे इस पर्पज के लिए वेन आई वॉज एक्चुअली नॉट डूइंग दैट वेरी ट्रांजेक्शन सो दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम मेजर इफ यू शेयर दी ओ एंड और someone if the call comes if you share the otp or somehow there is some or the other link on which you click then immediately your money can get withdrawn from your account or your data can get shared with others so if you have not initiated any any such transaction even the money is not getting deducted but you are receiving otp for something which you are not actually doing then you should also report those things to your bank ओके okay, कि हमें ऐसा ओ क्यों आ रहा है जब हम ट्रांजैक्शन कर ही नहीं रहे क्या कोई हमारे अकाउंट का या हमारी डिटेल्स का रॉन्ग यूज कर रहा है सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स शुड बी पेड अटेंशन टू हमें इन्हें इग्नोर नहीं करना है डू नॉट शेयर योर पासवर्ड ऑफ योर ईमेल लिंक टू योर बैंक अकाउंट ऑब्वियसली चीजें हमें किसी के साथ भी अपना पासवर्ड शेयर नहीं करना इनफैक्ट इफ वी हैव सम ई मेल आई डी विच इज लिंक टू द बैंक विच इज ऑल्सो नॉट शेयर द पासवर्ड ऑफ दैट ई मेल बिकॉज सम how our account can account uh, details can get traced through that and they can misuse it moreover we should not use common passwords for our social media website and for the email linked to your bank account aapki jo bhi official email id hai jo aapke bank se linked hai uska jo bhi aap password rakhte ho normal aap apne instagram facebook wagaira ka password mat rakho keep unique passwords at times log kya karte hain password hi password rakh lete hain okay so you should not keep such passwords which can easily get cracked which can easily get misused your passwords should be unique in fact at most of the places now they have this um criteria that your password should be strong enough where it has both alphabets numerics special characters lower case upper case letters so these are done to make sure that your password is more stronger and difficult to get traced or tracked by someone else then moving ahead you should not be misled by 
advises intimidating intimating the deposit of money on your behalf with RBI for the foreign remittance for the receipt of commission so आपको कोई mislead कर रहा है कि आपके behalf पे RBI के आपके behalf पे वो RBI को ये foreign remittance basically deposit होगा money या ये receipt of commission होगी so आप ये amount आपको receive होगा lotteries का so you should not rely on any such advices all right then you should regularly check your mobile phone messages, the emails which you are getting in the form of alerts from your bank, from your financial service providers. So, you have time to time banks, your NBFCs, etc. You have alerts that you have to keep your attention to these so that you are not defrauded by all these fraudsters. So, you should pay attention to that and report any unauthorized transaction if it is happening to your respective bank, NBFC, so that if your say card has been lost, if you get it blocked, you will not further suffer more losses. So always something unauthorized is happening. Report about the same to the bank or the service provider. All right. Then the last thing is that you can secure your cards by setting daily limits. If you have a card pe limit of 50,000, then you will not have at least loss. Aapko nahi hoga. So you can set limits on your cards. You can deactivate it for say international use or at times deactivate it within the domestic boundaries as well. Say you have lost your card. So all these helps us to limit our losses due to the fraud. All right. So ye kuch simple si safe banking practices hai. If a short note type of a question comes up, write a short note on safe digital banking practices. So you can start with the role of digital banking and uh, how more frauds are rising and so the practices are needed and these are all the practices which we should take care of. All right. Now coming to the second question related to this. RBI has detailed some practices to follow to ensure safe digital banking. Identify them from the options mentioned below. So, if we have discussed it, we easily answer it. The first one says, always respond to offers of getting KYC updated sent to you from any number on your mobile. नहीं कहीं से भी हमें KYC update करानी है messages आए हमें उन्हें respond नहीं करना है okay so this is incorrect then is never share your account details like account number ID password OTP with anyone this is correct do not download an unknown app on a device yes this is correct because downloading an unknown app can lead you to sharing your confidential information your device access to someone else all right so B or C he practices hai in tino mein se jo hume follow karni chahiye okay so answer is option E now moving to the next topic and the next question of the day that says who has proposed the framework to regulate the ESG rating providers, the environment, social, governance related rating? Okay, so over time, the scope of ESG has increased. Now more people, more firms are paying attention to what they are doing to the environment, to the society, how good governance are they adhering to. So, अब बहुत ज़्यादा scope बढ़ चुका है environment की तरफ care करने का, society के लिए कुछ करने का and these things also have a financial impact. आपके financial system पे भी impact पड़ता है. The climate risks are rising, the environment harm is in, on an increase and all these impact our financial system as well. I have uh, talked about all these in various reports of RBI, in various speeches uh, on the RBI website, which I have over time discussed with you. We have discussed that climate risk is our financial system ko bhi risk ke liye bhi risky. Hai. So we have to take care of all these things. Okay, and companies, the individuals are now paying more attention to this. Because of which the, these uh, very options like that of getting an ESG rating are also increasing. If the firm has a good ESG rating, the investors are willing to provide more income, more, uh, in, the investors are willing to invest more in such firms. Jinko achhi ESG rating mili hui hai, yani ki, wo environment ke liye, society ke liye achha kar rahi hai, unki governance achhi hai, to investors bhi maha paisa lagana prefer karte hai. So this is giving a rise to the demand of the ESG rating providers as well. But the ESG rating providers, just like we have the credit rating agencies, credit rating agencies kya karti hai? Alag -alag companies ko credit rating deti hai. How good is their trade worthiness? Based on that, the investors 
provide the money to the companies in the form of their investments okay similarly esg rating providers are the ones who will provide the esg rating ki ye company environment society or governance ke aspects mein kahan stand karti hai all right so a company having good rating will be preferred more by the investors but this es these esg rating providers as of now are not regulated inka regulation nahi hota hai So, किसने किसी एक रेगुलेटरी बॉडी ने प्रपोज किया है एक फ्रेमवर्क जो इन ईएसटी रेटिंग प्रोवाइडर्स को रेगुलेट करेगा सो विच रेगुलेटरी बॉडी एम आई टॉकिंग अबाउट इट्स सेबी द मार्केट्स रेगुलेटर सेबी सेबी हैज कम अप विद फ्रेमवर्क इन ऑर्डर टू रेगुलेट दीज ईएसटी रेटिंग प्रोवाइडर्स सो आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी लेट सी वॉट सेबी हैज प्रपोज एंड वाई इट हैज डन सो और राइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस that how these uh, credit rating these esg rating providers are now going to get regulated if this proposal gets implemented so who can actually work as a esg service esg rating provider who what is the criteria which they have to follow in order to make someone eligible to be a est rating provider all that is discussed in this very proposal of sebi agar hum baat kare ki sebi kyu propose kar raha hai est rating rating providers est rating providers ko regulate karna so the reason for the same is to deal with the various potential risks which it can pose अगर आप ERPs, ERPs यानी कि ESG रेटिंग प्रोवाइडर्स इनको आप रेगुलेट नहीं करोगे तो बहुत सी रिस्क आएंगी ओके एट करंट दे आर देर इज नो रेगुलेटरी ओवर साइड ओवर देम ओके एंड इफ दे आर अनरेगुलेटेड देन दे कैन ब्रिंग अ लॉट ऑफ रिस्क लाइक दैट that to the investor protection that the transparency to the efficiency of the market to the risk pricing so if a company someone is providing a rating which is not properly regulated wo unko zyada paisa milega wo better rating de denge in fact the company might not be doing such good for the environment it might not be adhering to good standards and because esg rating providers are not regulated they might still be providing good rating in order to earn more and seeing that rating when investors are invest thing actually they are risking their investment okay so or to in order to deal with all such risks there is a need to regulate these esg rating providers moreover if they are not regulated then it can give rise to greenwashing greenwashing is that they are actually not doing good for the environment for the society but they are wrongly portraying that actually we are doing so jabki wo asli mein wo cheez nahi kar rahe hote hain but Uh, वो दिखाते हैं ऐसा ई एस टी रेटिंग प्रोवाइडर्स विल ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड दियर रेटिंग ऑन दैट बेसिस गुड रेटिंग विल प्रोवाइडेड इन्वेस्टर्स विल इन्वेस्ट मनी वेयर एक्चुअली दैट रेटिंग वॉज रॉन्ग बिकॉज दे हैव इंडल्ज इन रॉन्ग प्रैक्टिस टू पोट्रे अ बेटर इमेज सो दिस इज होल प्रॉब्लम विच हैपन्स अगर आपकी ई एस टी रेटिंग प्रोवाइडर्स रेगुलेट नहीं होंगे दैट्स वाई सेबी हैज नाउ प्रपोज टू रेगुलेट दैम नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट ऑल सेबी हैज प्रपोज so first is that a li- any listed entity if it wants to get a esg rating then it can get it from only from the a rated erps listed companies jinko esg rating chahiye taki investors ko rating dekh ke unke paas aur invest kare so uske liye listed entity ko un uh, esg rating providers ke paas jana hoga jinhe sebi ka approval mila hua hai the sebi license erps can only provide this rating and who can be the a rated erps so sebi registered credit rating agencies and research analysts are the ones who will be providing the est rating so jitni bhi registered credit rating agencies and research analysts have provided wo necessary net worth infrastructure manpower requirement fulfill karte hain wo credit rating provide est rating provide kar sakte hain so there are the net worth requirements like you should have a net worth of 10 crore or more then there are certain infrastructure manpower requirements so if these very agencies and research analysts fulfill this criteria then they can actually become a esg rating provider as well moving ahead to the to the two more points of this very proposal so erp should offer at least one of the rating products in rating products mein se jo bhi main discuss karne wali hu in mein se at least one rating product to erp ko provide karana hai and this is either providing a esg impact rating or esg risk rating सो आपकी ई एस टी रिस्क रेटिंग कॉर्पोरेट रिस्क रिलेटेड हो सकती है फाइनेंशियल रिस्क रिलेटेड हो सकती है वट इज रिस्क रेटिंग एंड वॉट इज इम्पैक्ट रेटिंग डिफरेंस क्या है दोनों में सी ई एस टी रिस्क रेटिंग बेसिकली डज एन असेसमेंट ऑफ हाउ स्ट्रॉन्ग अ कंपनी इज 
रिलेटेड टू योर ई एस जी रिस्क सो इन्वायरमेंट में कुछ प्रॉब्लम आई इन्वायरमेंट को कोई नुकसान हुआ उस वजह से या सोसाइटी में कोई रॉन्ग डूइंग हुई उस वजह से आपके बिजनेस कितना ज्यादा इम्पैक्ट होगा आप कितने स्ट्रांगली इमर्ज करते हो उस चीज से कितनी स्ट्रांगली डील कर पाओगे इन्वायरमेंट कोई कोई भी इन्वायरमेंट में हार्म हुआ कोई भी डिजास्टर आया सपोज ओके ये सोसाइटी में कुछ भी ऐसा गलत हुआ कुछ डिस्ट्रप्शन हुआ तो आप कितने स्ट्रांग हो एज अ बिजनेस टू डील विद डैट वे थिंग असेसिंग दैट इज द ई एस जी An assessment of that is done through the ESG risk rating. Okay, company कितनी strong है ESG related risks के साथ deal करने में वो assessment जो है वो ESG risk rating है. All right, so it does not take the impact of what company is doing to the society. Company जो है वो क्या society में positive या negative impact ला रही है वो ये rating नहीं बताती. वो impact rating बताती है. सो रिस्क रेटिंग क्या बताती है कि सोसाइटी में कुछ हुआ इन्वायरमेंट में कुछ हुआ उसका कंपनी पे इम्पैक्ट क्या पड़ेगा और ईएसटी इम्पैक्ट रेटिंग बताती है कि कंपनी जो कर रही है उसका क्या इम्पैक्ट पड़ रहा है इन्वायरमेंट पे ओके सो ईएसटी इम्पैक्ट रेटिंग इज एन असेसमेंट ऑफ दॉजिटिव नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट ऑफ दंपनी ऑन दी इन्वायरमेंट ऑन दी सोसाइटी एट लार्ज और so if the company is into emitting a lot of greenhouse gases or what the measures are they taking for cop fulfilling their corporate social responsibilities all that is assessed through the esg impact rating ye basic difference hai then an erp should predominant should prominently disclose on its website and its esg rating reports the rating scale which it is using the symbols definitions so in order to bring more uniformity more कंपेरिजन मोर ईजियर जो भी रेटिंग प्रोवाइडर रेटिंग प्रोवाइड कर रहा है वो जो भी सिम्बल्स यूज करते हैं या जो भी उनकी रेटिंग स्केल है उसको उन्हें प्रॉपरली डिफाइन करना है दे हैव टू प्रॉपरली डिफाइन देयर रेटिंग स्केल द सिम्बल्स दे आर यूजिंग एंड दे हैव टू शेयर दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन देयर वेबसाइट ऑन देयर ई एस टी रेटिंग रिपोर्ट एज वेल मोर ओवर एवरी ई आर पी शुड हैव अ प्रोफेशनल रेटिंग कमिटी तो so, जो भी रेटिंग प्रोवाइड कर रही है उनकी प्रॉपर कमेटी होनी चाहिए जहाँ पे आपके क्वालिफाइड नॉलेजेबल लोग हैं जो आपको रेटिंग असाइन करेंगे द कम टीम शुड बी कंप्राइजिंग ऑफ क्वालिफाइड नॉलेजेबल पीपल टू असाइन द ई एस टी रेटिंग्स मोर ओवर वॉट इज द बिजनेस मॉडल सजेस्टेड फॉर दीज ई आर पीज टू फॉलो इट्स दी सब्सक्राइबर पे बिजनेस मॉडल सो सेबी ने प्रपोज किया है कि ई आर पी सब्सक्राइबर पे मॉडल फॉलो करेंगी आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस टू मॉडल सब्सक्राइबर पे मॉडल एंड दी इशूअर पे मॉडल सो वॉट हैपन्स इन केस ऑफ अ इशूअर पे मॉडल विच एवर कंपनी वॉन्ट्स रेटिंग से सब the companies wanted credit rating so what they did they provided the credit rating agencies with the necessary fee to do the assessment and provide them the rating so when the issuer is himself paying the credit rating agency to provide the rating okay and that rating is then shared to the larger public for free so that they get interested in investing in such company it's a issuer pay model yani ki jo company apne aap ko rating dila rahi hai wo hi credit rating agency ko pay kar rahi hai ki aap hamari rating do hamara assessment karo aur us rating ko fir larger audience ke sath share kiya jata hai taki wo rating dekh ke wo is company mein invest kare so here issuer is paying to get the rating done and share it with the larger public okay but in subscriber pay model what happens is that if i want to invest in certain company and i want to assess its esg rating so i need to pay the esg rating agency or i need to pay to get the details of that very company mujhe kisi company ki rating janni hai to और अच्छे से डिटेल में जानी है तो मुझे पे करना पड़ेगा इट्स अ सब्सक्राइबर पे मॉडल वेयर द पर्सन हु सब्सक्राइब्स टू गेट द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट कंपनी अबाउट इट्स रेटिंग हैज टू पे फॉर गेटिंग द एक्सेस टू दैट वेरी इंफॉर्मेशन यहां पे वो कंपनी जो रेटिंग ले रही है वो नहीं पे कर रही हमें पे करना पड़ेगा अगर हमें एज अ इन्वेस्टर इन्वेस्ट करना है और उस कंपनी के बारे में इंफॉर्मेशन जाननी है तो All right. So SEBI has sought comments on this very consultation paper till March 10. After that, it will take the final decision on whether to implement this framework or not. Whenever that full-fledged framework will come out, I'll be discussing it here. All right. So this was about the framework. Now coming to the last question that says. Identify the statement incorrectly related to the framework proposed by markets regulator to regulate the ESG rating providers. So, in me se kya kaun si statement incorrect hai? First one says listed entity intends to avail ESG rating or can obtain that from only an accredited ERP. Yes, this is correct. 
entity eligible to be a created as erp include your rating agencies and research analysts jo sebi ke sath registered hai ye bhi humne abhi discuss kiya tha erp should be mandated to follow issuer pay business model no subscriber pay model has been proposed so this is incorrect so we have to identify the incorrect one it's option b only third so this was all for today's session i hope it was useful for you all with this i would like to end up this session thank you so much